Hello, everyone. Today I am here with Dr. Emmanuel Williams. How are you doing today, Dr. Williams? I'm doing fantastic. And yourself, Devin? How are you doing? I, I'm doing great. Thanks so much for joining me. Can we start off with you telling me a little bit about what your role is here at Cal Poly? Yes, I teach STAT 251, STAT 252. If you're not familiar, that's business, statistics, business statistics or statistics for business students, as well as STAT 313, which is statistics for bio majors, a second course, I believe. Wonderful. And outside of statistics, are there any other passions of yours that you're involved with? Yes. Yeah, so um, I'm extremely passionate about data science and its applications and finding different ways to bring life to data. Um, so that's really a big passion of mine. So for those of us unfamiliar with the discipline, could you tell us more about what data science and visualization is and why it's so relevant in our modern society? Yeah, so when it comes to data science, it's, a, it's an interdisciplinary field that encompasses various methods, processes, as well as algorithms to be able to extract information from data, be able to get further insights from data to be able to make better decisions. And so when it comes to data nowadays, they, I would argue data has always been there, but there's a huge influx of being able to have access to data and being able to therefore draw more impactful um, decisions. And so when it comes to data, like the, the traditional example is being able to predict sports outcomes, for example, you know, or being able to see what team is going to win or, or how much, or you can go a little bit deeper when you have the play by play in terms of sports, you can see how well a particular player is going to perform versus a particular defense or how the weather might have impacts on or, or may impact the actual outcome of the game. And so for those are, that are, you know, even younger, maybe not necessarily interested in sports, you know, we can imagine um, Grubhub, for example, seeing how the app perform, performs um, across different times of the day. That we need data science. We need to be able to access that data so that decisions can be made to, you know, better the life of, the, of its users. So that's really, it's really important. Great. And do you use data science in your classroom? <laughs> yeah, so I believe I, I started at Cal Poly in, in the fall of 2018. And what I noticed here with the students is that they really wanted to learn, but also they wanted to go a little bit deeper. Um, and so initially when I when I when I first got here after my first exam, I was I was bothered by me just giving them a percentage. I wanted, I wanted them to know how they perform against their peers, and they wanted to know that as well. <laughs> and so like, they always ask, oh, what's, my average? what's the average? What's the average? And so what I would do is I would provide them the median as well as the 75th and the 25th percentile on that assessment and where they stood in terms of their, their classmates. And students really, really gravitated towards that because if they were above, they say, okay, I'm good, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. But if I'm below, they wanted to outperform them, th th themselves as well as their peers on the next assessment. And so that was, that was, that was groundbreaking. However, I still found that there, that I know that there were better ways of actually utilizing the data to inform or uh, enhance the way they made decisions or enhance the way they studied. So the next thing that I decided to do was I meticulously labeled each and every concept that I taught. Ideally, as a teacher, you should do this. You should have this. However, at the same rate, I actually labeled each and every question on my assessment with its corresponding concept so that within this report, I could tell students how they were performing, not only on the assessment, but also regarding certain concepts. And so this allows students to say, oh, well, I don't know about the standard normal distribution. Therefore, maybe I should study it, you know, something like that, something along those lines. And then as time progressed, I let students give me more and more feedback. I'm really big on feedback. Um, I have students not only fill out a survey for the institution for Cal Poly, but also give me feedback for my own survey so I can, you know, enhance the way I, 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 I teach. And so from there, I now not only allow them to see which concepts that they didn't necessarily perform well, perform well on, but also the questions so that they can then say, okay, 
I didn't perform well on standard normal distribution. I can then therefore go to quiz seven, quiz eight, questions seven through nine, and then one through three on those assessments to then therefore make those changes. And to me, that's huge. That's huge in terms of being able to utilize data within the classroom to not only better their decision, but better their, their studying mechanism. And so with regards to this, um, this usage of data within this classroom, it, it's, it leads me, it, it leads me to, it, at least it led me to um, pivot my organization. So God 365 is a learning center that I created to create and evaluate learning experiences. So it first started off back in 2015 when I, or 2017, sorry, when I created my children's book, The Avengers of Jameer Shapes All Around. And essentially the, the book was a success that led me to uh, want to create more and more experiences, math worksheets for boys and girls clubs throughout the, throughout the country. I've had boys and girls clubs, you know, utilize my content um, all the way from here, all the way to, to New York. So that's kind of nice to, to be able to say that, but during COVID and during um, having this virtual experience led me to then want to be able to teach data science to high school students and be able to utilize my mechanisms that I've developed in terms of providing feedback within the classroom to then therefore see how do students navigate um, this, 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 this field of data science, uh, machine learning and statistics um, with regards to having customized feedback. That's so interesting. Could you tell me a little bit more about how it works and why it's so important? Yeah, so when it comes to high school students, um, I've been able to teach different students um, um, from around the country, whether it's in uh, Wisconsin, Maryland, um, New Jersey, or, or even here in California, I've been able to provide them with a foundation within the, the, the principles of machine learning and data cleaning or data manipulation, as well as an introduction to statistics. And the, and the reason why this is so important nowadays is because, again, as I said earlier, data is becoming more and more common. We're getting data from various resources and being able to, we also have the capacity to extract them from various resources. And so it's ideal for us to be able to have a skill set at an early age to be able to analyze and and provide insights to be able to then make better decisions. And I don't think that one needs, you know, advanced, you know, experiences within math classes or they need to wait into college. Why, why not? Why not start a little earlier so that they can get that experience before college to make a better informed decision in terms of potentially even majors and things of that regard. That's all amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today, Dr. Williams. Of course, of course. I appreciate your time, Devin. All right. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day.